and that child may be separated from you as required by law. Maybe I can find another Bible verse to twist and wrench from its proper context. She says that authorities had told her that she was only going to be separated from her son for 48 hours. It's now been nine days and she has no idea where he is. These aren't our kids. Show him compassion. But it's not like he's doing this to the people of Idaho or uh, or um, or uh, Texas. These are people from another country and now people are saying that they're more important than people in our country who are paying taxes and who have needs as well. Yeah. They walk through Mexico like it's walking through Central Park. <laughs> I cried last night when I heard those babies crying. Just tell me, whatever you want me to do, I will go to the borders. I get arrested again. <laughs> you know, if necessary, I'm prepared to go to jail. I also like to ask you how I can help to these children to reunite with their families. Uh, you know, as quickly as possible. This was not a fashion statement. This was a political message where she said, I don't care. Wearing a jacket that said, I don't care. It is an unforgivable moment for Melania as the first lady. The first lady spokesman says, it's a jacket. There was no hidden message. <laughs> right. It's definitely not hidden. Nobody knows exactly what to make of it. That was a lot to take on. And I just want to point something out to our colleagues over at Fox and Friends. I don't think there's anyone who is saying a life of a child in Idaho uh, or Iowa means less than someone on the other side of the border. I think this is about humanity and the mistreatment of children. And if you are so worried about how, how every American child is treated, think about the money that is being blown, that is being spent, that is being flushed down a toilet for this, for this political theater. If you want to address income inequality, take the tens of millions of dollars going to this self-created crisis and put it towards income inequality. Go put Wi-Fi in rural areas, workforce development programs, improving the education system. This, however, is noise and nonsense and a, cr and a crisis created by the president. So please, with your propaganda that anyone is putting the life of a migrant child ahead of a life of an American child is simply nonsense. It's ignorant. It's stupid. It's wrong. Moving on. Chaos and contradiction at the border. NBC News.